Okay, hi guys, and welcome to part two of the four year anniversary special. Now, there will not be an intro to this video because as is customary, well, we only did it once before, but I thought I'd run the best of, the, the greatest hits. No, 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 that's cheesy. Um, yeah, just the best of the intros for the reviews from the past year. Uh, so I'm gonna do that in just a moment and also I'm, I'm totally breaking with tradition today because I'm not even gonna do a wristwatch check because I'm wearing my latest acquisition uh, Which I'll do an unboxing of at the end of this video um, It might surprise you uh, It's it's certainly something a little bit different uh, But I'll I'll keep it as a surprise no wristwatch yet no intro, but anyway, let's let's run the intros now and uh, Then we'll do the unboxing they murdered his friends. And they took the only thing he would kill for. If you want your kid back, then you gotta cooperate. Right? Wrong. coming to you, Tony. The world, Chico. See this watch? have stopped. Why? Why waste precious tanks when they can pick us off from the air like fish in a barrel? There are 400,000 men on this beach.
you got class.
Okay, so which was your favorite? Please do uh, share your, your favorite down below. Uh, and hopefully next year we'll do another uh, best of. Uh, it's, it's certainly going to be interesting trying to, trying to top that. If you've compared it to the last year, I'm certainly learning a lot. And it's crazy to think I've, you know, I'm, I'm, I never did video editing before, although I did a lot of audio editing. So the editing, it's, it, it's all rhythm based, uh, which I, I find the transition in, in terms of the timing quite intuitive actually but in terms of visually I'm, I'm still learning and, and uh, yeah but it's been so fun a lot of work but but um, very rewarding in a strange kind of way and actually people are now hiring me to do video editing which I never in a million years imagined I'd ever be uh, doing but um, and actually that reminds me if you do need a video editor music videos corporate videos film trailers um, whatever just uh, yeah contact me and I'm, I'm I'm up for hire so let's get in to the watch unboxing I nearly I nearly gave it away okay let's change perspectives then we'll come back and I'll discuss a little bit why I went for this particular piece it's from Japan another a bargain I spotted from the Japanese market a bit of a risk the, the seller didn't have the most perfect feedback but you know, I'm at the stage where sometimes it's just worth a little bit of a gamble and typically the Japanese, I've, I've always had good ex um, experiences with them. Oh, and I'll do a knife check as well. Seiji is back. Uh, dear old Seiji, the benchmark, the bench made or whatever the hell it is, is currently on active duty in my pocket as we speak. So Seiji will be stepping in. Enough babbling and rabbiting on, let's get on with it. We'll make the first incision. Yep, it's another Breitling, another Breitling. Very much inspired by the Basel World releases. Um, beautifully packed. This is always a good sign, although I, sh I shouldn't talk, talk, I shouldn't speak so soon. Right, the moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 nice size too. Oh, God, it's so thin. Look at that. Look at the blue. Oh, let's see that. Oh, that that is some smooth bezel action. <laughs> so this is not actually a um, aerospace. This is a chronospace um, so this is a little bit more kind of as you can see a little bit more involved we have a bezel instead of that fixed oh no it's not it's not fixed on the uh, what am i talking about talking absolute codswallop yeah we have the the navi time navi timer style bezel so it's as if a navi timer and a aerospace had some kind of love child together the little bit of the Explorer with the numerals, gorgeous. Let's just look at the condition. Yeah, a little bit of wear and tear, but generally good. I'm so surprised that uh, I managed to find this with the bracelet. There's quite a few it's a scuff marks. Um, I must admit, I'm, this is not my bracelet style. I, I, you guys know I love the Jubilee and the Oyster on the um, Subby, but uh, yeah, it's a bonus it came with it. Let's get it on. Move, it, move the white glove, sorry. Oh, that is a nice size, so thin. So it's the diameter of my Navi, but the thinness of a dress watch, because obviously it is an Annie Digi. Look at that, gorgeous. That blue, oh my God. Oh, okay, here we go. So what was that? So we got alarm. Chronograph. Oh, let's start the chronograph. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, and it beeps as well. Ha! Oh, God, this is so cool. If I hold it down, yeah, it resets. So what else have we got? A quick look at the uh, documentation. So, uh, oh, it's in Japanese. That's hilarious. 
So we've got the Navi Time of Bezel. Very cool. Uh, what else? The actual manual, which I'm going to be studying. Is it in English? Thank God it is. Uh, and a whole host of... Uh, right, I'm going to be studying. This is going to be my bedtime reading. Right. Better crack on. I am absolutely chuffed with that. Really happy with that. I'm so surprised at the condition. Yeah, it's got a little bit of wear and tear, but from what I can see, it hasn't been over-polished. Good lugs. Yeah, cracking watch. And you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to bung in on an NATO as soon as possible. I think my olive green, my lucky Zulu, absolutely fantastic. Anyway, let's take it back to the studio. So the reference number is the A5 six zero one two and this was produced um for about three to four years in uh, 1998 the chronospace has since been replaced with a typical brightling style in the, in the early 2000s with a very kind of big a souped up version that i gotta be honest is not my cup of tea but when i saw this and i i didn't know about this model and that's the thing there's so many brightling models that kind of a little bit off the, the, the radar. Uh, but when I found this, because I had always had a bit of a watch crush on the aerospace, which obviously this does borrow a lot from. Actually, I did get an aerospace in, I unboxed it, but I never got around to reviewing it. Sometimes, unfortunately, guys, I, I just have to cancel reviews to, because of my schedule and um, I just can't review everything. But in the back of my mind, I was thinking, you know what, I'm sure I'll probably buy one further down the road. Uh, and little did I know that there was this kind of Navi timer inspired version with an even cooler name, the Chrono Space. It was an offshoot, obviously an offshoot of the aerospace, but yeah, a, a, a little bit of explorerness. Explorerness, not even a word. New word, explorerness. Uh, a little bit of the uh, Navi timer esque and the aerospace all, you know, rolled into one. Of course, I'm going to like it, right? Now, the amazing thing is, uh, is I paid just under twelve hundred, uh, and this is just goes to show the gems you can find on the Japanese market. Really, really loving it. The blue is so different. I, I was a little bit fearful that the blue was too similar to my um, my Navi timer, but it's totally different. It's a lot more of a grey blue and I've put it on a, a Bond style strap. It's really giving me that MacGyver feel that, that <laughs> which the aerospace for some reason I always attribute to MacGyver. It has that tooliness. And I've got to say the screens are very easy to even in the bright lights, it's it's very easy to to use. And another interesting thing is that the minute hand on the on the main dial it ticks every thirty seconds. Also, I have to say, I really am enjoying having the features, the complications with the new changes at Brightling. I have to say, I do like the new thirty eight millimeter Navi timers. There was a lot of uh, not ridicule. There was a lot of. It, it was a divisive one, you know. I like what Brightling are doing. I know, I, it's, I know it's not a lot of people's cup of tea, but they're doing something different. I much prefer them going more classic, more conservative, more uh, humble with their sizes. That's a nice, polite way of putting it. Rather than doing more of those big, giant, you know, loud things. Look, guys, the great thing is there still is a ton of the big, bold, brightening watches out there on the used market. There's going to always be. I mean, the, the market's flooded with them. It's nice to see them return to something more classic. The only thing I don't like and something I, I adore about this is the winged B logo. And I've said this in earlier videos. The winged logo of Brightling is my favorite brand logo of all. Um, Brightling is probably even in my top three three favorite brands, I know very surprising, so getting a second one uh, for me was um, one of my favorite American expressions is a no-brainer, it's just, you know, why not? My Navi timer gives me so much enjoyment, I was even considering getting a second Navi timer, which is just ridiculous. I thought I'd try something new. I feel a bit of a soft spot in the used market, and with the current changes, this more smaller size, 
I feel, I feel it's a good way to go. So uh, I had to snag a bargain. That new 38, especially the blue one that they've been posting a lot on Instagram, that's what kind of sparked off my interest in this. And it's funny because even with my recent Tudor edition, my, uh, my Tudor Submariner, the 36 millimeter blue and this are two watches inspired by the Baselworld releases, but not the Baselworld releases themselves. So it's funny how things go. Anyway, I will do a, a full review this time on it. I'm going to give it probably even a month or two. Uh, because I have some, I've still got to do that Seiko dive of the 62 re uh, mass uh, reinterpretation, the modern reinterpretation. I've still got my Frédéric Constant somewhere to do. Where is that? It's somewhere. Um, and a ton of top 10 videos that I've got planned that I'm really looking forward to. So, um, yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy it. Just gonna enjoy it. Yeah, that's my unboxing. This is my gift to myself for four years, uh, as well as the uh, the Catalina for October. Um, this will hopefully will <laughs> quench my thirst for that aviation watch itch uh, until then. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna leave it there. Please let me know your thoughts, queries, comments, opinions, all the rest of it down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and found it useful. And as always, guys, I will catch you in the next one. Okay, ciao.